lesson for today is about getting the sum and product of the roots. What is the easiest way for you to get the sum and product of the roots without getting the solution of your quadratic equation or the roots of quadratic equation? Later, you will find out. Our objectives in this video is this one. Describe the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of a quadratic equation. Let's see or let's have a recall about coefficients. Let's say we have this equation 6x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. We have coefficients a, b, and c. The coefficient of a is 6. You can find it here on our quadratic term or you may x squared. Then our b is negative 5 and our c is the constant term or the third term of our equation. That is 1. How about in the second equation? 12x squared minus 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. What is our a here? The coefficient or a here is 12. b is negative 5 and our c is negative 2. In this equation, x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Our a here is 1. But you can notice here that we don't have x or the linear term. So we will just put 0 for our b. And for our c, we have negative 9. So these are the coefficients and you learned how to get the values of a, b, and c on the previous lesson, right? So how is it possible that we can get the sum and the product of the roots by just getting the coefficients of our equation? The sum of the roots is equal to, or to get the sum of the roots, we have to use this formula, negative b over a. As simple as that. You just need to divide b to a. And for the product of the roots, our formula is c over a. Get the quotient of c and a for the product of the roots. Now let's solve. In this equation, 6x squared minus 5x plus 10 is equal to 0. You can see um, the coefficients of a, b, and c. By substituting the values of a, b, and c in our formula, here we have negative in our formula. And of course, our b is negative 5. Then our a is 6, so over 6. The negative times negative 5, the answer is positive, remember? Then copy the denominator 6, and that's our answer. For the product of the roots, we have the formula C over A. Our C is 1, and our A is 6, and that's our product. Let's have more examples about getting the sum and product of the roots. Let's have the second one. 12x squared minus 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. Our a here is 12, b is negative 5, and c is negative 2. Get the sum of the roots by using the formula negative b over a. Negative times negative 5 over 12, which is the A. So negative times negative 5 is positive 5 over 12. For the product of the roots, we have the formula C over A. Our C is negative 2 over 12. And let's simplify this or get the lowest term. 
And our answer will become negative 1 over 6. Okay, and here our table. The sum and the product of our roots. 5 over 12 and negative 1 over 6. Now let's have the third one. How about x squared minus 9 is equal to 0? Our A here is 1, B is 0, and C is negative 9. Let's substitute the values in our formula. Negative, our B is 0 over 1. If we simplify this, the answer is 0, not negative 0 or positive 0. Remember, 0 is not a negative number and also not a positive number. It's neutral. Um, for the product of the roots, okay, negative 9 over 1. So simplify, so negative 9, and that's it. 0 and negative 9. We completed the table, but let's have another one. 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equal to 0. Our A is here, 2, B is 8, and C is negative 10. Let's find the sum and the product of the roots. Let's substitute again. Our B is, okay, negative, then our B is 8. So negative times 8 over 2. And we simplify that, that is negative 4. For C, we have negative 10 over 2 to our A. Then simplify, that is negative 5. Therefore, the sum is negative 4 and the product is negative 5. Okay? That's simple, right? Again, in finding the sum and product of the roots, we have to remember these th things. Number 1. We need to make sure that our equation is written in standard form before we can identify the values of a, b, and c. After identifying the coefficients of a, b, and c, let's substitute that to our formula. The sum of the roots, we have negative b over a, and for the product of the roots, c over a. And always remember that you need to simplify your answer. Alright, that's it. See you again.